excuse me, the guy with the white uniform, have a guy in a shooting star movement in white uniform, which represents karate instead of the Kembo, doing this on a communist world. <laughs> it didn't make sense at all. <laughs> okay? So that was scratch off. And that patch came into it because it symbolized the hard spot of all the schools growing. Okay? I was at the bottom when we had the meeting inside the uh, gate in a test. We had the meeting in Fairfield, California when we began to uh, vote for this. I was very, uh, was the, low, the lowest person there. The, uh, all of the seniors really were the ones that were taking control of it when the emperor told them that I was going to come and help them to put this up. So in 1969, after, after several years of attempting to do this, personally, I got fed up. I said, you know, screw this, I'm out of here. Because I didn't want to be involved with the politics and see to get everything out this way. So therefore, the Chon Fa version, which was then the Chon Fa version, yeah, split. Then came the Charles Gaylord's method of Chuan Fa. But, excuse me, okay, it was not the original Chuan Fa that Professor Emperor and, and uh, L. Dela Cruz and I had put together the manual. It became different. So therefore, you do have the Chuan Fa, the, the Gaylord's method of Chuan Fa, but not the original Chuan Fa method. The person that teaches the original Chuan Fa method is Professor, or, um, um, excuse me, Grandmaster Alan Delacruz in Hawaii. He has the original one. Okay? Our break off in 1969 uh, is only because it was the introduction of when our 25 technical final principles came into effect. We were beginning to start using the 25 technical final principles, which then I introduced and helped Cipriyan, uh, Lauren, and other people to understand some of the concepts of it. Okay? That was the beginning. And because now we were using northern and southern forms, split into the Tompai during the time that we had broke away, led Cipriyan, Lauren, to rediscover or bring things inside, which was totally acceptable to us because we needed somebody who was strong enough to help the top five people continue on, which, in essence, this is really for today. That was good, okay, because it is, it is different, okay? Now, we come up, everybody know that how the thing works is that we have a system, style, method, expression, the order, okay? So the system is because you can work it. The style is compiled. The method is about the expression is you. That's you. You're not going to look like him. And he's not going to look like you. And then when you begin to start teaching, it just flows to one down. When you become an instructor, yeah, it is your method and then your student's expression. It gives it identity. Self-identity. Because martial arts should not be everybody looking alike. When you begin to start looking alike, the other person is going to think, strength against weakness, how can I beat them? You're done. Okay? So this is why people look at the country camp and they say, man, you guys are so meant to mix up. That's right. Just because you think you can kick butt with one hand over here, doesn't mean you can kick all of our butts here. Because we're all different. We're all different. We're all specialists in everything. So everybody inside here, whether you're into the martial arts or technically into computers and everything this way, I can guarantee you, you're all masters in something. I master in what I do, you're a master in what you do and so forth. Yep. What do you do professionally? Maintenance. Maintenance too. Well, good, you're a professional at that. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're a master at that. I mean, I'm not going to mess around with that there. Okay. There you go. There you go. So we're all the masters. Oh, you got so much talent here. Okay? So, um, all right, let me see. Yeah, so, we got so much to talk about, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to put it all in. Uh, I'll take a couple of questions right now. Yes? If there's anything you would want people to learn just from your students, what would that be? Students? From other people that you've taught. You know, that's going to be a heavy question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, when you're born, you're born with your close fist. Okay? When you die, you die with your hand. <coughs> so that means when you're born, you're fighting, you're already screaming and doing the AI and everything, you take a punch. That's birth, because you're surviving, you're doing for life. 
When you die, you're gone. You, you, you totally relax. Your spirit is gone somewhere else. Okay? So what is it telling you? The idea is to survive. And the idea of survive is not because anybody can survive, and you can survive. Oh, just man, I just don't want to get hit me. Okay, I'm surviving. You know, you're all cut up. The other way of surviving is the other way of surviving. <laughs> okay? Because what is excessive force? In law, some people say it's equal force. He slap you, you slap him back. He punch you, he punch you back. Okay, that's allowed. So long as one and one. Okay? He kicks you, he kicks you back. He kills you, I'm dead. I cannot kill him. He got the first move. So where does the ex uh, uh, ex uh, excessive force come in? When do you use it? You, you kind of understand where I'm going with this? Okay? There's a point that you have to do. And the idea is that survival and winning with the least amount is more important. Well, technical fighting principles comes this way. We teach the technical fighting principles primarily for this. To get minimum damage on myself, maximum damage on the other person. I don't want to trade blows. So everything like strength against weakness, straight line versus curved line, mobility versus immobility, 22 different ways to break his rhythm, critical distance line, all of this is in technical fighting principles. If you understand it, it makes it work. Why do I say principles? Because we have so many different methods in here. But methods without principles is a black sheet paper. You need to have principles. A black belt without attitude it's not a black belt. He's got to be able to go from a little pussy cat to a tiger. He's got to come alive at that instant because that's your survival instinct. Okay? Now, let me tell you this. Okay? And this is where some of you guys in Tung Pai has already gone and achieved. But it needs to go up. It needs to go up a notch. Because when the idea of Kaju Campbell came up with the five founders, understand that the five founders were all within the mid-twenties. And Prado, all of these, uh, um, uh, Joho, um, Ordinez, uh, Chang, and uh, they were all in the mid-twenties. And contrary to what is written, they never had time to really train with each other except for a very few times. And they did the maximum. But when they all split up, none of them saw each other for 30 years until they came back in 1997. Back in